LDBC, this is your boy Coach Shelton Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Shelton Harrison Boxing and MMA Show Live. And if you look, you look at the coach. The coach is leaving the gym. He's leaving the gym, and that's just the way that is. Hi, right, folks. I want to talk about, you know, the CM Punk, man. Okay, CM Punk, <laughs> he got beat down, man. CM Punk completely got owned at UFC 203. Folks, that, that, that's just the way that is, Okay. CM Punk was on. There was nothing. He couldn't do anything against Mickey Gall. Okay? We, we, we Everybody, we got that. We understand. All right. Now, I'm looking at WWE, and I, I don't watch it. Sometimes I do if I think it's something interesting. And I saw a matchup, man. And I was watching Dolph Ziggler, and I can't remember the other dude because I'm really not that into the WWE like I used to be, man, when I was a kid. But, um, you know, I uh, watch, man. I'm watching, and you know what? I'm looking at this match with Dolph Ziggler, and God, y'all, I, I promise y'all, <laughs> it looked like they was mocking, really, they was picking at CM Punk. It looked like they was making fun of him, man. And I sat back and I watched, I said, nah, man, come on. And then I said, yep, that's something Vince McMahon will do. Because I'm going to tell y'all something, and this probably going to go over, his, over the heads of a lot of people that sub to this channel. But for the people, the deep thinkers, I already know you guys are going to be like, yep, I get it. You know what? Whenever somebody has crossed Vince McMahon, a lot of things happen to him. And most of the time it's death. I want y'all to look at all the people that really and truly crossed Vince McMahon and what happened to them. See, this is not something unusual for Vince McMahon. It's not. It's not something unusual, man. Like, seriously. And I know people say, oh, it's just a storyline and people have to agree to that. But you know what? They never like CM Punk. And CM Punk, he can forget about going back to the WWE. I mean, he'll probably go to, like, he could probably, if he can't make it in the UFC, he could probably go to another one of the small and wrestling organizations and perform there because they would love to have him. But he probably wouldn't get the kind of, um, he won't get the kind of racks that he was making at WWE. He won't get that. But, I mean, he could go somewhere else, man, because this UFC thing, <laughs> it might not be, man. I don't know. Who knows? But I can tell you something. Everybody that's crossed Vince McMahon, everybody, they they end up on skid row or they end up dead. I'm going to talk about some of these wrestlers, man, that, that had the nerve to cross the man. And, you know, just look how everything turned out for him. I mean, you know, you had Eddie Guerrero. Man, Eddie Guerrero used to cross Vince McMahon a lot because they just wasn't putting up with the BS, man. They wasn't standing for it, man. And sometimes Eddie Guerrero used to get pissed off, man, because, you know, some of the stuff that Vince used to let go, man. Like, Eddie Guerrero used to be pissed, you know, about, like, you know, people really being racist toward him, you know, towards Mexicans. And, you know, Eddie Guerrero used to speak out on that stuff, man. Al Albert Del Rio used to speak out on that, man. Now, don't be surprised if something happened to Albert Del Rio. Don't be surprised, I'm telling y'all. Because when you speak out against Vince McMahon, man, and they let the stuff go, I'm telling you, stuff happened to these guys. Okay, you had Owen Hart. Y'all remember Owen Hart? He was up there on that rafter, and then he fell off and killed himself. Then you trying to tell me that didn't nobody know or didn't nobody test that equipment, man, you know, a bunch of times. They supposed to do it, man. And, of course, Vince was saying, well, yeah, yeah, I went up there, blah, blah, blah. I, I, I went up there, but I'm going to tell you, man, I even think Owen Hart was murdered. <laughs> I even think Chris Benoit, I thought he was murdered. But, you know, he spoke out against Vince McMahon in the WWE. I mean, he did it. He did it a few times, man. And it's just when you have that tendency, when you go and speak out against these guys, they don't, they don't hold back, man. They never hold back. They come at you full force. And when they come at you full force, man, it's no coming back. I think Chris Benoit was murdered. I, I, I really believe. Okay, it just kind of make it hard to believe, man, that a man would just go off the deep edge and just kill his family. Even you got crazy people that murder people all the time that still never really kill their own family. Not like that. You know, just choke out his own son and all kind of stuff, man. It just, it just didn't make sense. Some of the some of the stuff was a lot of holes in the investigation, man, that they didn't even want to address, man. And then one guy was talking about what Chris Benoit brain, man, just could have made him go crazy enough to kill those people. And I'm like, well, I'm just trying to think, how could a, how could a dude do the stuff that Chris was doing in the ring if his brain was just completely just torn to shreds? I, I don't get it, man. But, you know, see, those are questions that I had, man. And, you know, not to go into that, but a lot of these wrestlers, man, you look at Jake the Snake, man. This dude was on Skid Row for a while, and then he got with Diamond Dallas Page, and, you know, they started doing some work together, and Diamond Dallas was helping him, man. Diamond Dallas got this program, man, that I guess it, it changed people's lives. I mean, a lot of these guys, man, they just, when they leave the WWE, 
And most of them, some of them didn't even cross Vince McMahon. They just, they can't take life, man. And then they start going to drugs and just, man, killing themselves. There's a couple other wrestlers, man. When you cross this dude, Vince McMahon is, is a mafia boss. And I don't know why people just don't understand that, man. Vince McMahon is a mafioso. <laughs> Plain and simple. You don't cross the mafia. Uh, hey, Vince McMahon a mafia. He's a promoter, brother. Vince McMahon is, <laughs> is a mafioso, okay? Trust, trust. Let somebody really cross him. And if they got beef with Vince, I guarantee you, either they ain't going to have much of a career. And then when he get him out of the WWE, it still don't work, man, because stuff still be happening to him. And it's ironic, man. It's ironic how this stuff works. But I'm going to tell you, CM Punk, and I, and I hope this ain't the case, man. If CM Punk disappears, CM Punk get killed, or CM Punk start using, you know, just start abusing drugs. But he said he's straight edge, so he ain't going to do all that. But if something starts happening to CM Punk, I can tell you right now, you better believe that Vince McMahon behind it. Because CM Punk walked away from millions, man. He walked away. And people say, well, he was terminated. He, man, look, CM Punk walked away from millions, okay? He walked away. And he walked away, man, because he just got tired, man. He got, and, and these guys, they, they get tired, man. They get tired. I, I guess they don't mind the lifestyle, you know, that it brings to them. You know, if you're a really upper tier superstar. But man, CM Punk got tired, man. And he was tired of just playing the game, man. He got tired of, you know, him, you know, doing the work, man, and him getting pushed back to the back. And, you know, he just got tired, man. And so he let it be known. And the pipe bombs were, were gold, man. And they let them happen because it brought people to the TV screen. But, you know, behind the scenes, they didn't like that. And they pretty much, man, they're going to make CM Punk life hell is what they're going to do. And I hope everything works out for Phil. I hope it do, man. I hope Phil Brooks, you know, does get what he's looking for in the UFC. I hope he do. I hope he is successful. I, I wanted CM Punk to be successful. I wanted him to be. I really, truly wanted him to be, man. But, you know, it just don't work out like that. When you're in mixed martial arts, man, and you got some of these guys with a wrestling background, See, you just can't come in. You just can't come into, you know, mixed martial arts. And then after a year or two of training, you can't come in, man, and hope to compete with some of these guys unless you're a freak of na nature athlete. And even Brock Lesnar, man, he, he, I think Brock Lesnar tapped in his first fight, you know, in the UFC. So, and Brock Lesnar was like, what, an all-American wrestler? So I'm trying to tell you. That ought to tell you, you know, what you're up against when you're dealing with these guys in this mixed martial arts. This ain't no joke, man. This ain't no game. This ain't no game, man. This ain't the WWE. This ain't scripted, man. This is this is not a game. These guys in there, and they going in there to kill you. One kick, one one anything to the head, and dude, that, that's your career. Guys have died in that octagon. They've died in there, okay? And that's just the way that is. They don't talk about that that much. There have been some deaths in the octagon. But you guys tell me what you think, man. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done.